is indeed now I think the bull moved off but look at this wonderful herd I think there are about 22 elephant that have just arrived to drink I'm not sure if they're going to feel comfortable enough to go in get in and swim oh there we go there we go there's already one or two of them wading in but I'm assuming I'm hoping the whole herd comes and spreads out they all seem to be keen for a drink I think this big female on the right in the front on the left hand side I think that is the matriarch she is one of the largest elephant um, sorry I beg your pardon not that one just to the the right um, sorry Senzo there just behind her that one there yes I think that is the matriarch she's the largest female that I can see in the group and also she led the herd down to the water she walked in front and she kind of surveyed the area to make sure it was safe just listen to the sounds I'm gonna keep quiet for a second listen to them sipping or slurping up the water in their trunk sucking up the water and drinking the water around isn't that wonderful see again in situations like this aside <laughs> looks like this elephant's just playing spraying the water are we positioned that, uh, so when I saw the herd coming down, I actually moved away from, we were on the dam wall, saw them coming and moved away um, because I could see the, the female, the, the large female was smelling, so I didn't want to make her nervous, she can obviously see something is blocking her way, look at that, isn't that amazing, little youngster, staying very close to the herd, oh, that is cute. As I was saying, it looked like the, the herd. Oh, listen to the communication going on between the herd. More elephant coming, I can see in the background. And, um, and she then eventually led the whole herd across the dam wall and came out to drink on this side drinking this side before so I assumed they would come here and um, and also I, I've positioned a little bit further away the wind is in our favor it's blowing it's not blowing directly to them and often if our scent is blowing directly to them they do get a bit nervous so we're actually in a perfect spot right now ah, wonderful See how those large females are very protective over that youngster. Stays close to them, stays in between the herd. A lot of the time they'll stop and they'll just basically listen and see if they can smell us. They want to make sure we're not a threat or we aren't a danger for the younger elephant and while the herd is drinking. There are, looks like two swimming at the moment, just behind the herd. Isn't this a magnificent scene though? See, and we just sat here patiently and waited for them. And I've said this before. Uh, Give, give the animals their space and often they'll relax and then either you can move a bit closer or they'll mo move closer to you. It's again that mutual respect and especially having respect for the animals. 
not making them feel in any way that they are in danger. I mean, look at those elephants swimming back there now. Now, it's interesting if we just have a look at these little elephants off to the left here. Now, look at that little one. Now, it takes an elephant, a young elephant, about mm, two years before they really know how to use their trunks. And so you can see often what they'll do is the young ones will, f will watch the females and these this is a learning curve for them. They will still be suckling completely from the mother. They'll be drinking milk but they will start learning to drink water. And it's interesting to see how they're trying to use their trunks to put the water in their mouth and they will learn that from watching the adults. Alright, let's quickly head across to Tara with the slender mongoose and we'll wait and see what these elephants get up to.